from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We are um, in the season of Rosh Hashanah, or Yom Teruah, actually, that's what I should have written. Uh, Tishri 1, 784, coming, Beish Shabbat. Torah readings are Genesis 21 from verse 1 to 34, Numbers 29 from verse 1 to 6. We are picking up at 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to chapter 2, verse 10. Now there was a certain man of Ramathan Zophim of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zuf, an Ephrathite. And he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah and the name of the other Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. And this one went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, the priests of the Lord, were there. When the time was that and Kana offered, he gave to Penina his wife, and to all her sons and her daughters' portions. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her soul, for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah her husband to Hannah, Why weepest thou, and why eatest thou not? Or why is thy heart grieved? Am not I better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me, and not forgive thine handmaid, but wilt give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. It came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way, and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. And they rose up in the morning, early, and worshipped before the Lord, and returned, and came to their house to Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about, after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son, and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer unto the Lord the yearly sacrifice, and his vow. But Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I will bring him, that he may appear before the Lord, and there abide forever. And Elkanah her husband said unto her, Do what seemeth thee good, tarry until thou have weaned him. Only the Lord established his word. So the woman abode and gave her son suck until she weaned him. When she had weaned him, she took him up with her, with three bullocks, and one ephah of flour, and a bottle of wine, and brought him 
unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh. The child was young. They threw a bullock and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, and the woman that stood by thee here, praying unto the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the child and, and, and the Lord hath given me my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore also I have, I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshipped the Lord there. Chapter 2, verse 1 to 10. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord, mine heart is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more so exceeding proudly, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken. They that stumbled are guarded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread. They that were hungry seized, so that the barren hath borne seven. She that hath many children is waxed feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill, to set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he hath set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces, out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king, and exalt the honor of his anointed. And Elkanah went to Ramah to his house, and the child did minister unto the Lord before Eli the priest. So there are several sections here that we want to look at in the book of First Samuel. Okay, first Samuel. So here are the sections. First step. Now one is chapter one, verse one, two, three. Two on 
one script in here. Um, two eleven. Okay, let's see how that flies. So this man is of Ramatan. He is not yet someone that is Ramatam Ramatam Ramata Eames of him. The son of man from Rama and Zofi. Context. I think it works. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Okay, Rama time. Zofi. Of Mount Ephraim. It was actually a Mount Ephraim. Okay. Whose name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroham? Elkanah. Son of Jeroham. Son of Tohu, son of Zuf, Ephrathite. Son of Ephrathite. And he had two wives. Hannah in the name of the Lost Penina. So he has this Alcana guy, has two wives. One is Hannah, the other is Penina. So Hannah had no children, and this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. The Lord of hosts. Yahweh. Lord of hosts. Yahweh. Seba. Lord be Yahweh. Yahweh of heaven. So he goes to sacrifice in a place called this is a place called Shiloh. So Shiloh. This guy goes to sacrifice. Two sons of Eli of Nian Phineas, the man. Of Eli here has two sons, Hophni, Hophni, and Phinehas. I need Phinehas. Priests of the Lord were there. So this. So all these are priests. Okay. Context. That's done.
When the time was that had come offered, he gave, so he's going to give an animal sacrifice. So, so he went annually to wash it. Can I wash it? Annual, annual, you. So you go every year to wash it. Thank him. Was that Elkanah he gave to Panina his wife and to all her sons and her daughter's portions? So Sadaka, what do we call Sadaka? So, so Elkanah gives Panina and sons and daughters. Portions for worshiping. Now, do I give a worthy portion? Interesting. Worthy portion. Interesting to note. For he loved Hannah. Oh, so this is a love one. Right? Interesting. But the Lord has shut up her womb. She is loved, but barren. Which is the doing of the Lord. And her adversary also provoked her soul. She is provoked. Or to make her friend because the Lord has shut up her womb. Very interesting thing. Now they did so year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord. So she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah her husband to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? Why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart weak? Am not I better to be than ten sons? So, that is truly provoked. He was provoked. She got provoked. So, Anna rose up after they had eaten in Shalom, after they had drunk. Now, only the priest sat. Okay. Upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord, and she, he, and she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. So interesting things, bitterness. So. And he sat at the temple. The temple of the Lord. First Samuel. I've been chosen. Versions. Shalom. Should be at the tabernacle. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid, and remember me and not forget thy handmaid, then but will give unto thy handmaid a man child, then I will give unto give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no raise up. So she makes a vow for a son, and she shall. No razor shall come upon his head. So Nazirite vow. So Elkanah takes a Nazirite vow. 
Then to pass as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli marked her mouth, our Highness is speaking her heart only on it to move, but her voice was not heard, therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee, and Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thine hand, count not thy handmaid, for a daughter of Delhi are. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. And Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. Okay. So So Ellie prays for her. Yeah. Ellie prays for her. Oh, may the Lord grant this petition. We are praising the name of the King. We glorify his name. There was up in the morning, early in worship before the Lord, and returned and came to their house at Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah's wife, and the Lord remembered her. So, Ramah. Therefore, well, it came to pass, the time was come about after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son and called his name, someone saying, I have asked him of the Lord. Someone is born. Should I put someone here? Someone is born. He said, asked. Of the Lord. And, and the man Akana and his house went up to offer unto the Lord the beauty's heart sacrifice and his vow. But Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I'll bring him, and he may appear before the Lord and thereby forever. So she knows. Right? She goes to worship with someone, he will not return. So she only has him until he is winged. Okay? Until he is so dependent on the mother's milk. And her kind of husband said unto her, Do what seemeth thee good, tarry until thou hast winged him, only the Lord establish his word for thee. So the woman abode and gave her son suck until she winged him. And when she had winged him, she took him up to half three bullocks and one half of flour and a bottle of wine. Interesting item of worship. Okay. Interesting item of worship. So she goes with, oh yeah, three bullocks. Three young bulls. Alpha, Alpha, love, more of one. A portion for worship. Amazing. And the house of the Lord in Shiloh, the child was young. All this is for the temple. In Shiloh. Yeah. It says the child was young and they slew a bullock and brought the child to Eli. So. Okay. 
And she said, Oh, my Lord, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here praying unto the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord hath given me my petition, which I asked of him. Okay. Therefore, also I have lent him to the Lord as long as he liveth. He shall be lent to the Lord, and he worship the Lord there. So her petition has been granted. Petition granted. So she gives him to the Lord. So now someone is now the offering. Or let whatever. Becomes the Lord's property forever. Is lent to the Lord forever. So now, because of this, because of this vow, the Nazarite vow, is lent to the Lord, she's keeping her vow. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, and there is there any rock like our God. Talk no more so exceeding proudly, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumble are guarded with strength. They that were full have added out themselves for bread, they that were hungry cease, so that the bind hath borne seven. She that hath many children is waxed feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh a lion, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich, he bringeth low and he lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust. He verse 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 8. Key verse. Okay. Key verse used by President Truto. During his campaign, and is repeated elsewhere in scripture, to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord, and he hath set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces, out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall jab the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king. Exalt the horn of his anointed. And Kana went to Ramah to his house. The child did minister to the Lord before every the priest. So Kana goes to Ramah to his house. And the priest. Okay. The child ministers before the Lord. Ministers before. Someone ministers before. Yahweh. Someone begins his ministry. Okay, he begins his ministry. Oh. So it means with. So the only other thing we want to do in Hannah prayer is in Satan. So Hannah's prayer. Prayer book called Song. We should consider doing that one. Hannah's song. Beautiful song. Beautiful poem, very powerful. And Father, we thank you for your word today on the book of First Samuel, chapter one, from verse one to the two, verse twenty. Thank you for that, the direction it gives, um, the alignment it gives unto us. We honor and glory in you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.